if they were sideways today. I realize if you're on Instagram live, <laughs> chances are um, you're looking at me sideways. But I'm trying this because this is going to be a better transfer video over to YouTube. We'll see. Yesterday I watched someone who had one like this and I realized I could put, place my phone on the table there and just move to the side and I could watch it without turning my head. So let's see how that goes. Yesterday, um, oh, we were tracking this box. If you're looking for art supplies, uh, with suppose of any kind, I am looking for art supplies for um, watercolors. So I have learned that if I order from Jackson's at jacksonart.com, um, if you just order brushes, I believe their, their deal is just brushes, um, will ship for free. And then I've learned that if you actually pay very little more, I think it's very little. I live in the middle of Hawaii though. So, um, everything for us shipping is very expensive. If I paid $10 more, I could get it to come, um, DHL. And this box actually showed up. I, I ordered and it shipped out on Monday and it showed up on Thursday. So four days to Hawaii from halfway around the globe is unbeatable, just unbeatable. I've done it from Dick Blick before. I've paid more than $10 to ship to Hawaii. We, we don't get that free shipping deal at all. That $39 ships free. We don't get that, so we pay $14.95, and then at some point we pay something like 15% of the bill or something. And it takes a lot longer than four days. It takes longer than four days to get to my house. So I'm still in awe at how it can come, you know, all the way from the UK. So it, I saw it leave Bristol, go to um, Heathrow, and take off, and land in LA, and then get out here to Honolulu. So, um, Without any other further ado, because I want to get in on this. I want to go through it in the box. It's a reveal of what's in the box. It's so exciting because they waited for this. And this was not by any means a impulse order. Um, it wasn't, it wasn't. But it really wasn't. I have to really think about this one. So from Jackson's, the big reveal that was in the box. It was a kind of big box. Um, big in dimensions, not big big stuffed plus all of these goodies so um watercolor crazy right just watercolor crazy and I know that people love to see it. and I had already unwrapped it all and everything and I just I could, had to couldn't do the video yesterday so I went back to my old my old friend Holbein I learned in Holbein um my very first set was Koi watercolors. I made my first painting out of Koi, and then my very next, or my very first artist, um, one was Holbein. So I went to Holbein Royal Blue. I haven't had Royal Blue yet, ever. Remember now, I'm collecting blue paint. <laughs> That's my excuse, right? And then um, I tried a Schmincke, uh Transparent Orange, I believe, and love it so much that we decided when we're putting in the order to try this. This is uh, Thalo Sapphire Blue. It was a new color for 2017, so I thought why not get this one instead of another color. And still on the collecting blue paint. Just makes me feel better, okay? So just humor me. Um, then this one was another Schmincke Delph Blue. This was my husband's pick. He looked at the color chart. Yeah, I don't have anything that looks like that, really, so let's try that. And these are pretty big tubes now. This 15 mil tube is, is what's considered the larger tube. So if you ever looking for supplies, check out Jackson's because these were not the prices that we saw in other places. Okay. Hi to everybody that's joined. I see Dan Seto and oh, Watson. There's Watson. And um, small moments, big moments. Hey, Kathy. <coughs> And then, since I'm collecting blue paint, right, I, I, I strayed a little. This is Prussian green. Um, I didn't do the Prussian blue in this one because, uh, well, I thought this would look really nice in some oceans. It's a 
a deeper green color and I thought that um, I, I touch in oh, what's on my palette here I touch in yeah see all my ocean and land colors I touch in Viridian sometimes and now cobalt green into the ocean so I thought touching Prussian green ought to give it some very very deep 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 colors I know right Oh, I have a uh, watercolor by Watson. Such pretty colors. It is. It, I mean, you know, what can you say, right? They're colors. We could collect this stuff for a lifetime. Right now, it's just blue. <laughs> so, uh, let's see. I, my husband and I also looked at the... I did the mission goals. All my mission goals are here still. I still haven't got them in a... I still haven't got them in a half pan it things have just been moving so quickly you know we had so many things here happen in hawaii um the what i'm going to call my marker in time of that crazy um missile scare text that they sent us that threw our weekend schedule off and then we're running through another round of um the uh, christmas cough isn't that fun so i haven't been able to get to the painting it's driving me nuts I also had a friend who was in the hospital. We just had so many things going on. And I painted at the hospital, by the way. So one thing about watercolor, you can't take it with you, no matter where you go. Yeah, Mission Gold looks like fun. You're right. You're right. Because we looked at this, um, and my husband said, oh, how about this? Whatever this is. Ver Verditer? Verditer? Vertier? I don't know. Well... This long word with the V blue. Ha <laughs> ha. It looks kind of cornflower blue to me. Like, I don't know if my camera is going to pick that up very clearly. Um, but this is going to be another blue. And since we're on the Mission Gold collection series, or at least I think he is, he picked a gold brown. He's an earth dirt color kind of guy. If you've ever seen his Facebook, Castle Gardener, or if you've ever seen his blog, Castle Gardener, um, he's John Hankins. He does goblins and creatures and orcs and um, fantasy things. But he's very much, he knows his dirt. So he wanted gold brown. So we got gold brown. Um, we both like yellow gray. Barely can see um, a color there on the edge. It's, I don't really know what to call it. Almost like oyster, I guess, if you were... I'm looking at whites, you know. Um, yeah, Watson is saying, um, oh, yeah, I'm sure. Bless your heart again through that, that nuclear thing scare. I know. I, you don't, we're going to be like this about it forever. It's changed our lives in so many ways we don't even know. And one of them is this way, you know. One of them is this way in arts. We picked um, gray of gray. And really in uh, in the... The color chart, this gray of gray, looked a little, little bit. So I'm putting that in my, I don't feel bad because I'm collecting blue tubes. <laughs> this one was uh, shadow green. You can barely see it, even on the stripe here. It looks kind of black. I think it is, you know, a black green. That's what I believe it is. I have a um, set of white knights paints from Russia, and they use this Rus Russian green, and it, it is sort of like a black green. So I can't wait to get that one open. So this, this is the paint that came from Jackson's art. If you're coming in a little later, I see Sar Sarjan joining. Hi. Um, I got these from here. Now, these tubes here, mission, mission tubes, were way less than I could find them anywhere else here at Jackson's. Well, who am I kidding? All of these dollar for dollar these were way less from Jackson's than anywhere else even with all their gimmicks and everything so this is the paint hoarding right oh did I say that collecting blue paint collecting <laughs> that happened from that box and some of this was um, one of those things well I put stuff in my shopping cart and then let me just see what else I can put in my shopping cart for about the same amount of shipping you know that ten dollar shipping because that's how we do out here in Hawaii. When you have to pay for shipping for everything and it's going to come in a box, I want to see how much can you get in that box to me before I have to pay, you know, way more. Okay, 
But the big bad babies in this um, was this. So let's see. Let's see what the when you buy the Da Vinci, um, however you want to see this, Tobolsky Kolinsky. It took two years of Russian, okay? It didn't work out very well. <laughs> but um, I know how to see the, the good things. You know, the things like, I don't speak Russian, I don't understand you, and I only speak English. I can do those. <laughs> but if you buy this Da Vinci, da Vinci and you get this maestro, um, it is a great, great, great Kolinsky brush. And <clears throat> I got the first one, which was the the um, 10, 35, the 35 series, the round pointed. Let me see if I can get it out. And it came on a card like this too. It was glued down a little. And they give you this long um, introduction and a history and what you should do to take care of it. And they give it to you in several languages in case you're bilingual, which unfortunately I'm not. I guess it could be. I'm I'm pretty proficient in pigeon English. That doesn't help us too much in writing. But I have the round brush of this. And I decided I loved it so much. If you are watercolor painting, okay, I understand about, you know, conserving the money for different things. We'll do another video on that. But I'm telling you, I, I couldn't believe it. It was a splurge to buy the other brush. And once I got it in and I loved it so much and... Not only did I love it, but the ease of painting changed so much that my husband said, oh, just get the brushes right. Never mind talking about it. I kept talking about it. He said, oh, I think you just get the different shapes. So I do use a flat brush. I use a flat brush. Um, can you see the flat through there? You can. Um, on the oceans. I put the oceans in with a flat brush. So I got the 10. I got the 6. And a small one over here. I got a small one, too. And I had a hard time deciding. Because um, I knew that the sizes are odd. When what If you're used, what you're used to as a 10 is not anywhere close to a 10 here. The, they're much, Da Vinci's going to run bigger in sizes than what you're used to. Um, so I got the flats. So there's the flats. And of course, I had the round in a 10. And I started, tried to paint some smaller things and I just couldn't do it with a 10. Because I like to mush my brush down and flick it. So when I mushed down with the 10 and flick it, it was covering too much space. So I tried a 7. I've never had a 7. Like people talk about the 8, the 6, and they don't really go for the odd number. So I thought I'd be odd and why not? I'll add odd. So I went for the seven. This is the seven. And, you know, compared to my fingernail or something, you can see it's still really big, right? I would guess on average, I don't know, this would probably be what most quote unquote normal, normal scale brushes would be 10, maybe even 12 here at the seven. And then they jumped really small into three originally in my card i had i don't know eight six and something something and i decided i'll jump between seven and three and see how much difference there is between seven and three so there is quite a bit of difference between seven and three so now of course you know right five may have to be added to the family but uh, if not three is going to be working hard here and then i do a lot of gouache work with a tiny, tiny brush, and I decided to go for one. I had a two in my cart, so I'm glad I went one. So I went into one, so that it makes it a little smaller. Here, if you can see that against my finger now. It's still pretty large for one. I would guess that's almost a two brush, maybe even a three that I'm used to. I, I paint acrylics too, so in my acrylic brushes, I would expect this to be a three. And what I'm looking for, I guess, is more what normal, what I would call normal in acrylic brush size would be almost like a, I don't know, 3-0 or a double. So this one is more like a three. 
but I think I can still do gouache with this. So if you have these brushes, oh my gosh, you know, shout out and yell because I, I'm looking for somebody who's just as excited about them as I am. Um, you know, once you get into these, I think the prices are, are easier to handle. Um, the smaller brushes aren't the big chunk that the big brushes are. You know, the big brushes can fall into this, you know, like, oh my God, kind of price. Should I sell a child? Um, but at Jackson's, um, and I didn't get paid from Jackson, okay? Just excited. At Jackson's, they did not cost a gold bullion cube. So I have, um, they're actually very, very reasonable. I think they're, they're less than half the price of what I was looking at other places. Um, I found this to be an interesting phenomenon. So I was using this. I'm a Raphael Soft Aqua Girl. This is a imitation squirrel. Okay, so why, why did I start with this? In July, I was in Oregon and we went to this great store and I walked back past this display and I just fell in love with what they look like. I have an, the rest of the set in the other room. We'll do a video on that too, maybe. But just as a quick idea for you to see, I know some of you here joining are painters, so you may be shocked to see this. I was when I first thought, I can't believe this here against this white paper. See that? That's my flat. And that's my flat six. Okay. Now I can do, you know, little miniature paintings this size. You can imagine, you know, this is about right to do some very areas, you know, cover area. Flat six, right? This is just their style. Well, so I went flat six. Let me get the cover off. Flat six Da Vinci. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right? Do you see it? Is that crazy? So, what? <laughs> right? Double the, double the length at the top. And, I don't know if the camera can show you that or not. Look how puffy, puffy this is. And how flat that's going to get. I'm, I'm anxious and terrified at the same time to use any brushes. That makes sense. <laughs> I'm so, I'm so excited to use them. But at the same time, I think, oh, I got to relearn how to paint all over again. Because can you see what I mean by I've been, quote unquote, maybe struggling with trying to get this into a thin, um, a thin line, get it to do what I wanted it to do. If this is, you know, going to be that. So you can see how much more smoother that's going to be once you get the paint on it. Anyway. This was not supposed to be a comparison video. This is just what's in the box, what's in the box. Okay, so that was in the box. We'll talk more about these. I have a plan for my soft aquas. I feel like I've abandoned them and they, they have feelings, but they don't have to pretend that they don't. So this is the haul. So this was a, this was a really tough um, order to make. You know, limited funding, you're deciding what's, what you're going to get best for your buck. Um, I stayed with the, the 35 series. Um, I have re I have total reasons. If you disagree with me, by all means, you know, message me. If you have questions, message me. If you want to know why I feel so strongly on this, let me know. I mean, I've heard so many of the gamut, you know, do with what you can. And maybe your style doesn't fit this and that, but I'll... I had a great friend, I have a great friend, Jin He, who's um, here also on Instagram. I asked her before I bought, I said, can you advise me, help me um, make a decision whether I should or I shouldn't, which one I should. And I feel that if you're on that spot too, I'll help you. Um, you know, we can talk about what you're using now and what your style is and see if these are good for you or if something else is good for you. Um, you just don't know how much you're struggling until you're not struggling anymore. So for me, this worked. This was in the box. This is the bad boy. This was the reason I made the order. So, you know, this is because when I'm collecting blue paint and because, hey, you know, the box is already coming. Why not add those two? Because they don't cost that much there. They literally are like, I think they're like $5 a two, which is unheard of because they're, you know, 15, 20, 30, 40, 
<laughs> sometimes $50 for that size in other places. I'll put the brushes up there, move this off, and then this big bad boy. I don't know if any of you have ever used Artistico traditional um, white, 100% cotton Fabriano watercolor paper. Okay, this is a block. I haven't opened it yet. Um, I'm anxious to try it. I want to try it. I, by mistake, or whatever you want to call it, got one sheet of Fabriano paper when I was in Oregon. And I painted on it. And I was like, oh, this is great paper. And I thought it was, I thought it was an arches paper. And when I finally got down to where this part was, because, you know, I'd taken it apart and torn it up, um, I was very pleasantly surprised. I, oh, that's, that's not bad. And then I didn't think about it too much. And then I got a sample pack from, again, my great friend on um, Instagram, Jin He. She had a f uh, sample pack that came out to me. And I made four um, of my beaches in a bottle out of it. And I realized, wow, the paint, you know, the paint absorbs through. And it spread the way I wanted it to. It, it was just performing. So I was very impressed with it. Then I read an article. If you use... Um, arches so I use arches just because it's what I what I could get a hold of at the time I had a, a block of it 20 years ago it's sitting over here is this I have three different after hoarding one or saving one for 17 years I got two okay so now I have three so don't be saying oh look at her she got all kind of stuff I have saved one pad literally for 17 years and this year is the year of I'm not doing that I think 17 years is a long time I'm gonna use them all <laughs> I was using the arches and every time I put the paint down I was thinking wow I wonder if my paint's good because I could smell this smell and then and the smell is like I don't know it's just kind of stinky it's a stinky smell like I don't know old socks old shoes and I thought the paint was, you know, rotted or something weird happened to the paint. And then I read an article somewhere, I don't know where, so many places, that Fabriano um, does not put animal sizing, animal products in their sizing. And that means no stinky paper. So I am going to give it a try with this and and their block paper and if we had some kind of smell of vision I guess I could sample that off for you but I will definitely be reporting on the stinkiness of the paper so I did not notice any funky smell when I did the samples on the sample paper in little circles it was all good no stinky smell so I'm hoping that with this I'll, I'll let you know and with this one I bought I got this do you see this? 12 by 18 in this one. 12 by 18. This is like getting two right of the 12 by 9. So I had a 12 by 9 um, in my cart and I threw it out and I just got this one. I thought if anything I can take the sheet off and I can cut it. And see I'm still, I'm still, you know, I'm still being very frugal, frugal with it. But I thought, well, 12 by 18 I get two 9 by 12s. I'm going to try it on the block. I can tape off the section of the size that I want and I can use the spare part of the paper as my um, my test paper if I want. That was an idea too. And I also want to throw paint and water on this and watch and see how the center buckles. I mean, it's so large now that this could buckle in a wave. Um, don't kid yourself because arches buckles in waves. People talk about this, blah, 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 blah. 300 pound paper does not buckle in a wave 140 pound paper i'm starting to believe whatever brand you will live with some undulations and it just depends and depends on so many things your environment um you know your environment the way you paint how much water you put there's so many things just too many things this is what was in the grandiose box so Again, this, this was a pretty good price. Not the best price ever. This pad from Jackson's, 
not the best price that I could find in the US or that I could find to come to me but the box was coming anyway so I threw it in there these brushes best price ever that I could find Jackson's I'm not a Jackson's promoter although I can't guarantee that it won't be in the future because that's how strongly I feel about this I'd like to contact them and see what kind of offers they have for websites and stuff um <clears throat> and my paint is in there so our paint will be on display feel free to ask me about any of these um best prices that i found ever jackson's um if you're curious about any of it shoot me a message ask me your questions um tell me what it is that you've experienced um let me know if I can help you because, like I said, there are people along the way here. I had to ask questions about some of these before I I went ahead and pressed the button. I just didn't show up and click, 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 and I made a guess. So if you have any questions about these, please feel free to message me on Instagram here. If you find me on YouTube, you can message me there. Um, just Google my name. I'm everywhere, so you can get in touch with me. I'm glad you guys all came today. I'm so happy to see all of you. I'm so excited because I look at the names on here and I, I know most of your accounts and I know what kinds of things you have posted. So I'm super excited because I think these items here that you know I'll be working with and I can show you maybe you'll be working with too soon and we can you know exchange what kind of great stuff we're making. I think all of your guys' work is just beautiful. I've seen so many of the the names here scrolling and I've seen your work and I love it you know I'm I'm, I'm struggling along and working out well, we'll see this was the Jackson's box and then I'll take this all apart and let's get swatching between this and the previous box you guys you guys are great thanks for joining I'll see you later bye bye let me know when you're on live too bye